Hello everyone, have you tried our map styler yet to change the color of your map? Today I will code something to change the whole map programmatically to your brand color palette. Hi, my name is Jose Jose and let's do some JavaScript. But first, let's revisit the map styler. Remember that it lives inside the TomTom Tom developer portal. And we are coming here because we want to check a map style for our customization. We already have a good amount of default style that can help you showcase specific features like traffic and places in your map, day or night styles, etc. And for our objective, I think the light version would be good enough. I don't need to display POIs or traffic, and I still have the field extrusions from buildings. So a basic light style it is. Let's download it with a new name. With that, we can go to our code and display the map. Using the latest version of the SDK for web, which is version 6, we can display a map very easily with a couple of lines. Check our other videos for more details, but for now, we can add the map to our web page using something like this. Let's take a look at this map. Okay, our objective is to rotate the colors of this palette. We are going to update the colors of each layer by changing the paint property. At the end, we will have something like this. Still, there are some things to take in consideration. For our application, we are going to change the colors only of the layer type line, fill, and fill extrusion. These represent the bulk of the map. And second, we have to check what format is the color declared, so we can convert it accordingly. We will not change the opacity of lines and fills, but the fill extrusions for buildings need to be fully opaque, or the map will look strange in higher zoom levels. Once we have the map loaded, we can iterate over the style layers to get the colors. First, we make a copy of the current style. And as we go over the layers, we check if the element is from the type we want to change. In this case, a line, a fill, or a fill extrusion. Once we change the color, or not, of the selected layer, we add it to a new array of layers. And once we finish, we assign the layers to the style we just copied in the beginning into the map. When we let it run, the map should blink for a moment to adjust to the new style. In the source code, you will see I use some helper functions from the ColorMine website. I have added the links in the description. A very useful guide for color theory and functions. Since the colors in the style can be specified as RGB, like this one, in RGBA, that means including an opacity value, like this one, or as hexadecimal, like this one, I added conditions to detect this. You can see it here in the function update color. Oh, and let's not forget that some layers have colors interpolations when changing zoom levels. For this, we iterate inside the stops array and update the color which is in the second position of that stop array. The function that check if we need to change the color of a simple paint element or a stop array, it's called check element color. In here, we also check that the paint element actually exists. The rest of the code is just JavaScript callbacks for when we click in any of the colors in the palette on top of the map. I forgot to mention that I use the view JavaScript framework to display the palettes, but that has no big influence on the rest of the code. If your brand has a specific set of colors that define the look and feel of your website, now you can change your maps to match. Check the source code of this demo on GitHub. The link is in the description. And that was all for today. Thank you for watching and happy mapping.